Welcome to Random Product Critic, a channel about critiquing anything that can be bought. Today we're going to kind of look at a new, newer game that has exploded in popularity called Undertale. Um, so Undertale is this game made by a single guy. Um, he spent a lot of time doing it and it's really unique because it's got a really unique storyline, um, has a lot of variation, and all your different actions in the game affect other, you know, gameplay later on. Um, you know, for example, how you save, how you restore your saves, um, how you buy things may affect things if you keep them or use them immediately, um, how you kill people or save them, and, or monsters or save them, and things like that. So there's a, a lot of unique variation to this game. Um, so let me get past this entry screen here just so you can kind of see what the game looks like. Uh, so immediately you can tell it's going to be kind of a retro graphic feel. Um, so you can see very retro, very pixelated. Um, it has, it has a, almost like a Game Boy Color type of feel to it. Uh, just very, very pixelated, but there's a lot of variation, a lot of detail too. Um, you can see even the characters in this game are just very unique. Uh, there's no, no character there characters that are the same. There's a lot of differences between all of them, how they act, how they talk to you, um, you know, all kinds of things. So the premise of this game is you are a, a human that gets stuck in this monster world and you're basically trying to get out. And these monsters and humans in the past had a war and they got separated. Monsters got sealed off under a mountain and you're trapped under here trying to get out. Um, so basically all the monsters initially kind of hate you. Um, some of them really don't know what a human is. Some of them really want to kill the human. Um, you know, it just depends on the monster's personality. So depending on your actions in this game, You'll have, you know, some monsters will treat you very kindly. Other ones will treat you very hostily and try to fight you and whatnot. Um, you can kind of hear the music as well, which, given how much time the creator has spent on this game, you get a lot of a lot of detail that's just really awesome. Um, so every area has a lot of different detail on, you know kind of what it looks like for characters, uh, platforms. So this is this is Hot World right now. Um, and it's very, you know, it has a hot feel to it. You know, lava type of thing. You've got a waterfall one, very dark and watery. Um, you have a snow area and just multiple different areas in this game. Um, What's also really unique is because of all the time the developers spent on here, you get a lot of secret areas that you, you know, the more you play through it, the more you'll discover, uh, especially if you do different actions every time. So, you know, maybe I decided to kill these two guys earlier. They wouldn't exist right here. Um, whereas, you know, if I decided to save them, they do exist here and now this lady doesn't have any ice cream to sell me because these guys uh, bought it all. So actions in the earlier part of the game will affect actions later in the game. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers, so that is, that's kind of the premise of Undertale. Again, it has been a, a huge explosion across the internet and it's sold like wildfire as far as I can tell. Um, you can get it for $10 on Steam. It's a PC game and um, I, I highly recommend it. I haven't gotten through all of it, but you know, even the stuff that I've played so far, it's very entertaining, very, every battle sequence is even different. Like, you know, how the guys attack you, different actions you can do. Um, you know, you can, you can basically fight people, use items. Um, so it's, it's a turn-based system, but during the turns, you're also trying to dodge attacks from the players. Um, so it's kind of, kind of different, takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's actually pretty entertaining. 
So maybe I can just show you around, just walk around so you can see see the different quality of this game and what it looks like. Um, again, what's really cool is the soundtrack matches this game really well. So you'll get you know, mysterious areas, you'll get really goofy areas, um, or if you're talking to certain people, you'll get really goofy, uh, different theme music. Um, all your talking is kind of, well, let's, let's talk to one of these guys and you can hear it. No, maybe you can't hear it too well. So it's the it's the standard blip system, um, but talking to different people will give different sound effects, different texts and fonts. Um, so a lot of time and effort was put into this game. So I'll just keep going through, give you an idea of some of the things that are kind of interesting. Um, you can interact with a lot of things, just see funny comments. Sometimes there's kind of dirty things, sometimes there's little pun things. Um, you know, just a lot of variation on it. So like this guy, he was not here last time I was in this room. So even things in different rooms change. Um, you know, you can talk to different people, interact with them differently. Um, you know, sometimes you might not even have to fight people, depending on how all your actions are in the game. So I'm actually kind of uh, kind of stuck at this. Okay, I'll go back to my elevator here, so you can so we can get to another area, so you can see. Let's do that one. So then you'll notice even even this feels like a Game Boy Color feel. It's it's a very basic control scheme. So I've got. You've got your enter and shift, um, or Z and X are your uh, enter and back, and then your menu is a control key. Uh, other than that, there's really nothing else except for the arrow keys. So it's a really primitive control system, but the way it's been implemented, you have a lot of control just with those arrow keys. Um, so that's really all you need, and it follows the same syntax as like a Game Boy. Um, so you, so you can hear this music. I'll turn it up. It's kind of goofy. So kind of fun there. Um, let's go talk, look at some of the items so you can just see their comments. Garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Little dolls on the desk. It's a beat up figurine of a human female with cat ears. Let's go upstairs. Read some books, maybe. So this is these are some uh, funny things depicting human history. Um, so I'll read this one. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Um, so there's a lot of humor put into this game. Um, kind of fun. And just overall the gameplay experience is just a lot of a lot of fun because it brings back the nostalgia, but it's got a lot of complexity to it. Um, and it makes it's got a lot of inside jokes too. Like for example, uh, I, I've done some game development and a basic object in any game is uh, a basic cube like this one displayed. So this might be an inside joke that says, an incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Uh, because when you're building a game, you don't want to spend too much time on all the graphics up front until you've you know, kind of nailed down things. So he kind of just left things in here. It's a little fun, you know, puns and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of character to this game too. So this little kid, um, obviously he's based on 
whatever you choose to do. He can be kind of evil, kind of nice. Um, and then all the people around the world also follow follow suit. So if you decide to go around killing things, people are going to charge higher prices for you. They might be scared of you, um, you know, things like that. Whereas if you're nice to them, they might, you know, give you discounts. They might be more willing to talk to you and so on. So we'll take a look at another area here. So there's just real random memes and things thrown in there too, like, you know, mustache rock, because there's that huge mustache fad. Um, really weird characters, even though they're kind of nice. So kind of fun, really, just really weird characters in here. You got like, uh, this guy with a huge mouth, lots of teeth. Um, then over here you've got some dog in a giant suit of armor. <laughs> it's kind of a fun game. So I'll, I'll end the video here. Um, that just gives you a feel for what this game is like. Uh, again, I strongly recommend playing it. Uh, just gives you the nostalgia of Game Boy type of games. Gives you a lot of complexity. There's so many things you can explore in this game. The music's awesome. And frankly, for a $10 game, it's a it's an awesome playthrough. Um, I'll definitely be playing through this multiple times just to see what different things I can interact with and whatnot, depending on my actions. Um, so this is Undertale. Uh, it's $9.99 on Steam, and I will put a link in the description so you guys can take a look at that, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video as well as share with others that may find this video interesting. If you'd like to make a request, click the link below in the description, and also feel free to take a look at some of our other random product videos.